This is part 160 of ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss binding tree view control to an XML file using XML data source control. This is continuation to part 159, so please watch part 159 from the ASP.NET tutorial before proceeding with this video. At the moment, the data for the tree view control is hard coded within the control itself, and that's what we want to get rid of in this video. Instead of hard coding the data for the tree view control inside the control itself, we want to move this data to an XML file and then we want to bind the tree view control to that XML file. So let's first of all get rid of this nodes element from the control. And look at that, at the moment the tree view control has got only styles, no data whatsoever. Now let's add an XML file to this project. So add new item and we want to add XML file and let's give it a meaningful name. Let's call this treeViewData.xml and I have already implemented the required XML so let's copy it and paste it right here. And if you look at this XML, this is very straightforward to support the logical structure of our website. So we have this root element called items. You can give it any meaningful name you want and directly underneath that root element we have three tree view items home employee employer and admin actually four under employee we have got three more items similarly under employer we have got three more items and notice that each tree view item element has got text and navigate URL attributes in a bit we'll see how we are going to make use of those attributes so that's the first tab add an XML file and the second step is to drag and drop an XML data source control and then specify the data file attribute so what is this data file attribute going to tell you know this is going to tell the file that contains the data so here the data file attribute is set to treeviewdata.xml in a bit we'll discuss xpath attribute so first of all let's drag and drop the XML data source control onto our web form and XML data source control should be present under data tab. So the first thing here we have to specify is the data file attribute. So we want to point to this tree view data .xml file. So let's copy the name of the file and let's use tilde character here. Tilde specifies the root directory because this tree view data .xml file is present within the root directory of the project. So within the root directory find treeviewdata.xml. That's the second step. And what's the final step? Configure the tree view control itself. Look at this. We need to set data source ID attribute. And look at what this data source ID, ID attribute is set to. It is set to the ID of the XML data source control. So basically get data from this XML data source control. And then the important thing is to specify data bindings okay so within data bindings we have tree node binding and what is the data member tree view item and text field is nothing but the text attribute navigate URL field is navigate URL attribute and target equals blank you know uh, means when we click on that item within the tree view control the target page is going to be opened in a new window so let's specify this on the tree view control. So within the tree view control itself, the first thing is we need to set data source ID attribute and we need to set this to the ID of the XML data source control. In this case, it's XML data source one. And then we need to specify data bindings. so tree node bindings the first thing is we need to specify data member so what's the data member within our XML file it's nothing but tree view item and we need to specify text field so text field is going to be text attribute and navigate URL field so navigate URL field is going to be navigate URL And let's also specify target attributes. So target, we want the target page to be opening in a new window. So we are setting it to underscore blank. 
All right, with all this in place, let's go ahead and run this and see what output we get. We should get the same output. In this case, we are binding to an XML file. Look at that. You know, for... Okay, look at this. Why is the style, you know, here, we have root node style, you know, a background color of, you know, navy that's not applied to these nodes here. Why is that? That's because this employee, employer, and admin are no longer root nodes because we have one root node here, which is items. You know, in our example, this root node doesn't make any sense within the tree view. So we want to hide that. We actually want, um, you know, the hierarchy to start from home, employee, employer, and admin levels, not from that items root node. So how do we hide that? The simplest way to achieve that is to basically set this XPath attribute. So basically this XPath is telling read tree view items that's present directly underneath this root item items. So that's going to fix that issue. And it's also going to apply the styles that we have specified for root nodes. All right, so let's go ahead and specify the XPath attribute. So XPath equals, so at the root level we have items and underneath that we have tree view item. So read that. That's the X path. All right. With this change, let's run this. Look at that. We get the same output as in the uh, previous session. Uh, this time, we are binding the tree view control to an XML file. All right. So here are the three steps. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.